Hello, my name is Steve Poon, and in this lecture, you will learn Wireshark packet capture approach, Wireshark dependencies, capture filters, etc. in detail. In this section, we are covering basics to get you started with Wireshark. And uh, here, in order to start the Wireshark, you can also go to the application menus here and write Wireshark in the search button. And you need to start Wireshark as a root user with super user privileges. You can enter the password and you when this dialog appears and you can see the everything you uh, the network adapters and so on. So you can also start the Wireshark from the terminal in order to start terminal. Uh, if you if you just write the Wireshark here and here as you can see here we can see the Ethernet or any network interface cards. That's why we need to start Wireshark on sudo Wireshark. You will enter the password and that's it. Once the Wireshark application is launched, the main interface is shown including sections for basic capture controls, capture filters and display filters. Now you will select the desired interface from the list by clicking and hit the start capture button to capture in this case we have the ethernet zero and any you can also select any which in this case it will also listen to bluetooth to wi-fi and so on in this case we will select the ethernet because we don't have any connected device to the internet uh, and here that's it so we started ethernet if anything occurs and as you can see here our router and switches are talking and here as you can see here who has uh, this ip address tell to this ip address and as you can see here there's a like i'm, I'm so excited with wireshark here so here uh, we have we can start the capture here so the capture from here and uh, you can specify the filters and that's it so when capture is in a progress um, by default it shows live the packets being captured in various colors and we can start again here so we can go to our vulnerable web application here in this case it's typhoontarget.com and let's log out and whenever we are doing something on the wireshark or whenever someone does something on our local area network it will show us the exact bytes uh, byte by byte representation and here um, we can start stop capture uh, with these buttons here and uh, let's first understand the packets here right so it's time to investigate a capture at the individual level and this is an example of uh, one of the tcp packets captured here now we will go to here and enter our passwords right so that, that's a, for example consider this as a facebook or any um, banking website here so now we will have admin and and we'll enter our password and that's it now uh wireshark should capture this and here as you can see here we are seeing something let's actually stop it now we will analyze it and here we are seeing something need to see like login here login php and as you can see here it's application www form url encoded here so now let's uh, select this by clicking on it you can select the packets and here in this here you uh, the package details will appear let's actually use the gromit here i will draw things on the screen that's it and here we have the let's start the gromit here we have toggle painting clear screen and yes as you can see we have i also have the application drawing thing that's it so now when a packet is selected wireshark opens the bottom panel here you can see here bottom panel this is the bottom panel of wireshark so uh, this button panel which gives important information of the on the features that are conveniently presented in the same way as the osi model so the number of layers seen changes as the protocol selected changes here in this example from the top down we can see the uh, frame layer uh, it has the pro protocol http uh, as you can see here and uh, it's in the ethernet data link layer and uh, the we can also see the ip uh, network layer we have ethernet 2 internet protocol version 4 uh, source address and destination address transmission protocol 
and we have port and so on and we also have the hypertext uh, hyper transfer protocol which uh, we will get some pretty confident information confidential information from that here so we will get the passwords we entered the last time we visited our website right so if there are more layers or headers in the packet it is sequentially decoded in the wireshark packet view so for a packet with multiple encapsulation protocols to decode it properly there must be a dissector available that decodes the corresponding protocol layer so every packet uh, decode starts with a frame dissector right uh, it dissects the detail of the captured metadata itself um, as you can call it the timestamps right so the the frame dissector passes the data to the lowest level data dissector in the data link layer for example the Ether, ethernet uh, the sector gets triggered from the for the ethernet heater so the packet is then passed to the next the sector and the network layer for example ipv ip version 4 or I, version 6 the sector gets triggered and so on so each stage of the sectors decodes and displays the details of the packet and the sectors can be write it as self-registering plugin for example, a shared library or DLL are built into Wireshark source code. So the biggest benefit of going with the plugin approach is that rebuilding a plugin is much faster. And if the sector is built into the source code, the Wireshark needs to be completely recompiled and rebuilt. Hence, it makes more sense to write the sector as a plugin, right? So uh, you will learn more details on the sectors in uh, next lectures also. But let's firstly get started with the capture filters in Wireshark. So we will uh, discuss in detail uh, capture filters in next lectures, but only basics have been included here in the section for completeness on getting started discussion. So capture filters are used to decrease the size of captures uh, by filtering out only relevant packets matching the condition before they are added to the capture file. Uh, so clicking on the capture options um, button shows a screen containing a list of interfaces. So in order to do that, you will need to find this setting icon. <laughs> it's usually there. <laughs> and here, uh, when clicking on that, you will see this dialog here. So uh, to set a filter, either an interface can be double clicked like this, um, or a custom filter can be entered in the box, right? So now we will open that again or uh, before that let's actually enter our uh, password again because our previous packet analysis is lost because we don't save them password here and that's it and now we're gonna see the post login here this is usually the login pages uh, that uses the post method and here uh, now we will go to that again so we stopped the filter and here we as i said you can double click on the capture options uh, but uh, remember before double clicking on any interface uh, on this dialog you need to save the file in order to get, get lost and captured interface so here to set a filter um, you can also select a custom filter it can be entered in the text box so the, there's a um, list uh, here uh, that shows example of simple capture filters for example we can use the src here src host so we will enter the our src host so let's actually uh, scan our host with nmap so nmap sv here uh, typhoon typhoon target dot com and now we will get that uh, host domain address ip address ip version 4 address and now sorry so just like this and here yes we can see the ip address here uh 192 168 13 142 and now we will uh, use this filter to just listen to the packets from this host and here in order to do that we will just write that ip address down just 13 point yes 142 and you can 
press on start and we can also save them before starting a new capture or we will not save them in this course and here as you can see here whenever we restart this page there is something new will come here and as you can see here it's the new information is gathering so now we will go press on logout and here we also have this uh, 302 font and we can read it from the hypertext transfer for the protocol we have no catch connect type connect length and so on now what we're going to do is we will do that example again we will enter our passwords in this case admin and our password that's it and click on login and here as you can see here you are seeing that familiar post request again yes we have this 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 here let's log in log out again and admin here and password and here as you can see here we have several information here so you can also use another filters as well like net right so we we can with this net here and you will need to delete this and 24 subnet mask so we will listen to the packets to and from all host part of the network here so from 0 to 255 ip address right right so we can also use the port here port and we will listen to only packets that connected within this port here so communicating with this port here and now since we are communicating on port 80 we will see informations here and we also have the display filters on Wireshark, which we will discuss in next lecture. My name is Stephen, and I'm waiting you in next lecture.